I'm going to show you how to hang this outdoor day bed. You can see it's already hanging. Also, you're going to have to excuse all the noise in the background because our neighbors are getting a pool and it's not a great time to make a video, but we're going to go for it. We're doing it anyway. Yeah. Um, this is already hanging, obviously, but we are going to redo it. When we hung this originally, you can see we did just two anchor points in the top of the ceiling and it turned our day bed into kind of like a swing that kind of does this motion a little bit. It's a faster motion than we thought yeah. we wanted. So we're going to do four anchor points, one for each corner. So it like kind of just rocks gently, more of a, you know, baby soothes to sleep, not roller coaster amusement park ride. Thing. Yes, we also noticed after we did this that hardly anyone does it this way. And now we know why, so we're teaching you. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're going to take this down and we're going to redo it and show you how it's done. First thing is you're going to want to prop up your constructed day bed onto some five gallon buckets. As you can tell, this got like significantly higher from the five gallon buckets. And when we were first doing this, we were like, wow, that's a little bit of a high swing. But as you can see, this is really loose. This is a natural hemp rope and it stretches under the weight of your day bed. And so you can see how much extra give we got. So we we tied this rope on these buckets and then we used it and sat on it and the rope relaxed to yeah. a perfect height. Yeah. So use the buckets. If you tie the rope at what you believe is a perfect height, it will drop down like six more inches and yeah. be touching the ground. Exactly, you can see how much, I mean, I don't know, what is that? like? two or three inches. Oh, I feel like it was even more though, because when wow. you, well, you know what we can do? If you took the bucket off, we could see how much it drops down. The point is it drops down. <laughs> so use the bucket. So Use the bucket, it them, ends up perfect. Yeah, I've got them back on a bucket at each corner so that I can remove this and start the hanging process again. So we're gonna hang the rope using these heavy duty screw eye hooks in our porch ceiling. Obviously you wanna make sure that you are securing them to somewhere strong in your ceiling, like a joist or a stud or something. We have the benefit of having a completely exposed underside so we can see all the structure of our, um, our ceiling here. We're gonna actually attach it into this board back here. And I've already measured, actually you can see I've installed one here already. These I measured to make sure they were the exact same distance of where my hooks are on the bed itself because we want them to be even. And right, so, I, so hold on, I'm gonna show. Oh. See how far apart these are? They're 27 inches. That's how far apart you want your top one so the ropes can look perfectly yeah. straight. Yes, um, you can see I already installed that one. I started by drilling some pilot holes because this is a pretty um, large end to it. You can get it started with your hand, but it quickly becomes pretty tough. And so the easiest way to do these is to get like a long um, screwdriver. And kind of put it in and leverage it yeah. to go around. Yep. And so I'm just going to get that all the way in and get my other two matching ones on the other side. And then um, I'll also show you the ones in the bed itself. Real quick, just to show you these that are already installed on the bed itself. I use a slightly smaller screw eye hook just uh, to save a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want a giant thing sticking out that you're going to hit your leg on. Okay. Anyway, Frugal and functional. I made, I made sure the rope fit through. That was the important part. Important part. Um, but I um, installed it. If you looked at our blog post with the tutorial, you saw that behind all this sort of decorative outside white is a, a two by four stud piece that is kind of the structural core of the bed. And I made sure that this went through right into the center of that on the other side. So that's why it's a little bit higher off from the bottom. Yeah, so it's going through this face piece into like the meat that goes through yeah. this thing. And so it's really secure. It's not just on the front, it's through the center. It's, yeah, it's through the stud that's back there. So that's the reasoning for this location. So just think about that when you're installing yours. And think about all the dollars, John Yeah, it's like four dollars, <laughs> The time has come to start adding rope. Again, this is a natural hemp rope. It is uh, three quarters of an inch thick is what we chose. Um, well, well, the link is in the blog post if you want to get the exact same one. So um, you could just do like a normal old... Burger is barking at someone. Um, someone walking by and watching us film. <laughs> um, well, we're not going to film for much longer because the knot I chose to do on these is I think called a midshipman's knot or something. It's, it's the most complicated knot I've ever... Um, tied in my life and not to say it's complicated I just don't tie many knots so I'm not going to do it on camera why not <laughs> that's what we came here for John I have to watch my YouTube video while I do it 
Let's just try. Oh my gosh. I'm Let's give it you. the college try. We're going to give this a go. <laughs> He's done two practice ones, guys. Yeah, they turned out good. <laughs> okay, so I'm just sort of starting with what is like, what I would consider to be a normal-ish pretzel. A nut. pretzel, yeah. yeah. I don't think I have enough for it. Okay. Let's do this again. Okay, so then after I do my pretzel, I'm going to go back around under my pretzel mm. and come through to sort of give myself it's like a loop within a loop yeah again i didn't give myself enough loose rope we're starting again <laughs> second time's the charm okay there we okay, go okay pretzel pretzel pull it down i'm gonna go under my knot that i've started but then come back through it wait your arm is like sort of blocking that Step. It was so good. Okay. Okay, so you on. see how I've got I'm this? I'm getting on the ladder. Here we go. See yep. how I've got this? Uh-huh. So I'm going to come under. Uh-huh. But It's going to go through. It's going to come back around. So now I've got kind of like double. Yeah. She's double a spinny girl. There, okay. So now we're going to come back under again. It's like focusing on your ear. <laughs> but then not go over. This is like my initial loop. We're going to stay under it this time. Okay. Okay. Oh, so I get it. There's one loop above the big loop and there's yeah. one loop below the big loop. And so if you get them stacked right oh. and you pull a little bit here, you can see how I can now scoot it up there. Adjust it like that. Hold on, your hat's in the way. There we go. There we go. Great. So And that's an adjustable one? Yeah, that's meaning an adjustable what? One. Uh if you, you can loosen this pretty easily and uh -huh. then you know, and then move this up and down if you want. As a giant construction vehicle rolls by. Okay. So, and then what we'll do is we'll take this tape off and we'll just fray the end of this when we're done. Yeah. So it looks cute frayed. There's who. The, no, this is different than the knot at the bottom, right? So these are your yeah. top knots. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have all four of my midshipman's hitch knots um, tied in each of the corners. Thank you, Sherry, for making me learn how to do it because it was much faster that way. <laughs> See? Look at uh, you building sailor skills. Yes, and I also have the bottoms of the ropes all threaded through these um, one dollar cheaper <laughs> eye hooks on the bottom. And I forgot to show you, but I am able to cut this rope just with like basic kitchen scissors. I don't need anything um, special to cut it. So I've got it all threaded, but before I tie anything, we made sure that the bed was exactly where we wanted it. So we used our tape measure to make sure it was like equidistant from both sides so that it's centered here. Right, like this amount of space is the same as that amount yeah. of space. This amount of space is what we want. This amount of space is what we want. You make sure yeah. it's not even skewed a little because if you tie the ropes where it's skewed, it will stay floating skewed. Yeah, I mean, to some degree, it'll, it'll hang where it's gonna hang thanks to gravity, but you wanna make sure at least while you're tying your knots, you're setting yourself up for the most accurate placement. <laughs> I'm just going to pull this tight and then on the bottom just do like a basic pretzel knot that you would, you know, do for anything because it's obviously the knot itself is, you know, large enough that it's not going to go through this and it'll hang on there. And once you actually have the weight of the bed mm -hmm. pulling it down, it'll pull this. Really so that's tight. your only knot down there? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. So easy. But yeah, I'm just going to do that on all four corners and then let her rip, kick these buckets out. I <laughs> can't wait. Yeah. Big moment. Yeah, all four corners are tied, so. And they were just the simple knot. Yeah. And now it's time to. Kick the buckets. Only in the figurative sense. I guess in the literal sense. Yeah, no, in the literal sense. <laughs> Thankfully not. Not in the figurative sense. Unless this project goes really wrong. That bucket. <laughs> You should get your level and show them what you're made of. So, I was, Sherry wanted me to sit on it, but it's kind of. It just rained it just like rained. four minutes ago. <laughs> Take it for the team. Because like you'll watch, the, the rope stretches. You watch the rope stretch. I don't know if you capture that, I, but. I heard it. But see how he's now in a much better place. And this is what I meant. So watch, this is what we were talking about. They, it drops like six inches. Can you see that on the bucket? But that's the right um, like more height because if you want to read and sit and put your foot down and kind of sway yourself, you don't want your feet to not touch the ground. Yeah. 
And it actually doesn't spring back up. Right, so the rope just um, completely relaxes and then it stays there. And these nights get, knots get super tight when you yeah, sit on it. like there's so much weight on that. And now I'm just gonna... Leave some dangle. Know, this is what I did that last time. We can always cut the over. Yes, very cute. And then... Wow, she's the longest one. <laughs> I didn't have much excess this time, so good thing we bought the length of rope we did but you can see it just do you remember the length of rope we got i believe it's 48 feet okay but you know we have a taller ceiling because of the, the um it, it's higher on this end now we've got a nice loud truck in the background yeah yeah you don't want it to touch the ground i think because it would get dirty so a little um float is good yeah i what i was doing was kind of pulling it tight because it it springs back up right 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 very cute and we'll fringe these out up here too. Yeah. And she's really level. I think you should get a level. We should end on a zoom of a level. It's in the shed. All right, she's very level though. Well, you know what? You can kind of see because we have horizontal boards. Look how level that is. Excellent work, John. And you saved $4. <laughs>